when we did our custom authentication, we saw this Django.contrib import messages. We saw this being imported, but we didn't actually see it really being used other than just writing some code for it. So in this one, what we're gonna do is adapt our alert messages uh, to actually show the messages that we write here. Um, so those messages will actually show up inside of whatever the text is for the alert itself. Um, so to do that, what we need to do is fairly simple. We just need to make sure that Contrib is in our settings. So if we go to settings.py, we want to make sure that it's in our installed apps. Definitely want that. Because if it's not in our installed apps, we might not actually be able to see it. The other part is make sure it's in our middleware because the messages middleware is another important part of it. And uh, the last one is also in our template context processors. Now, it usually is in, in here by default. So if for some reason yours aren't rendering, then go ahead and Google these three things. So you can come back to this beginning of this video, look at the three things that are missing and look for it and make sure it's in your settings. Chances are really good that they are in there by default because this Django messages system is something that is just automatically set up by default in the majority of versions because it's a fairly useful system. Now, don't think of it in terms of messages like you send me a message, I send you a message. It's more of like system messages, messages that the system sends out to the user and it's stored inside of the session, right? It's not, you aren't gonna see the messages I see, I'm not gonna see the messages you see, and you aren't sending me messages, I'm not sending you messages. Instead, Django and the system are sending messages to you based on your session, based on what you're doing, and based on the code that we wrote for those things that you do. Um, so that's what the Contrib Messages framework is all about. Uh, it's very good and it's very easy to use as we see here. We see this messages.success for this request. We put in a successfully logged in. So we give some sort of message for this login view. And you can use this on every view if you'd like. You can use it on signals. You can use it on all types of things that deal with the request. Any request object that actually goes through, you can use the messages framework. Okay, so now that we understand that uh, and we understand how to import it, and if you just search Django messages, you will find uh, documentation for it. So if you ever forget what the import is, that's okay. We all forget where things are. You just go ahead and do a search for that and you'll find it. So let's go ahead and look at the documentation. And this is the documentation. It does say like the, the things that I just told you about, it, it says it at the very top of it to enable it. And I believe these are always gonna be added by default, but that could always change. I'm not on the development team for Django, so I'll, you know they change things and all that. Um, so if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see all this different stuff, Mes message tags. So you could have tags, so different kinds of tags in here. There's a lot of things on how you could customize this. And um, also there's different types of messages. So we used message.success, but there's also warning error. Uh, these messages are good for displaying different types of message itself, like in the actual like example. So uh, I'm gonna show you what it means by actually going down and saying displaying messages as we see here. So let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm gonna go into our base template here. And I'm gonna just, instead of hello there, I'm gonna paste in these messages. So we're gonna, we're gonna customize it, but for now, we're just gonna see it as this. It's gonna be a list of items that are gonna be in the message. So we'll see what the message is and what we should expect to see. Now, of course, these messages themselves are based on what we actually set in any particular view. So let's go ahead and look at it. So we have this now if message clause which realistically, this should be outside of the alert completely, not inside of the alert, but outside of it. So if there's a message, then it's gonna run this stuff, right? So if messages, go ahead and show us this message. And also notice I am not using the top bar message or the top message. I'm not using that at this time. So for now, all I'm gonna do is not display it. So that one's not even gonna show up now. So if I refresh in CFE e-commerce, we see those messages have now gone away because if we said none here, and then also we put this if clause here, so it's not gonna show up unless there's a message. So let's actually make a message. We'll go into our login view and we'll log in. 
and it redirects us and it says successfully logged in welcome back perfect that's a message that we intended to see we wanted that and notice it's coming from right here and if we go to inspect element we're going to see some things about it so i click on it and notice it has a class label of success and that's because going into our template we see if message tags message dot tags so it's going to actually show the tags that are there so if it's a success tag it's going to give it the class of success tag as it sees as you see here in this template um, context tag stuff and then it also loops through all the messages so if there's multiple messages it's going to show all of them so let's actually show an example of that i'm going to go into views in our logout view, I'm going to do a few messages just so we can see them in action. So I'm going to say, well, I forgot what the messages are. So let's go back into Chrome, into the message framework, and we see all the different messages here. So let's do warning, warning, and let's do error. Okay. So there's a warning. There's an error. Save it go back into our project here and now to actually have these run we just click on log out and we see all the different message errors that are coming through here so if I inspect this element and I look at the class we see success warning error and those classes are now there so what if we did um, well let's let's say for instance we go into our base and and we put a class here and we'll just do alert dash message tags and see what happens there. So I'm going to log in first. Notice it says successfully logged in. Welcome back. I'm going to log out again. And I added that alert and now it actually changes the color because of how we set this stuff up. Now obviously this doesn't look good. This is not actually going to work the way we want it to. But it's showing you that you can be a little bit smart about how these tags work and then you can also write your custom classes. Now for you, you could use it as a list. There's nothing wrong with having your messages as lists, um, but I personally would rather have my messages as their own dis, uh, dismissible message. So what I'm gonna do here is, instead of having the for loop for the messages inside of the alert, I'm gonna take it outside of the alert. So if messages, for message and messages, cut this out, paste it there. So now I have the loop outside of it, so the actual alert itself is going to change based on the message tag that we get. So I'm going to, again, grab this stuff here, cut this out, and I'm going to put this on the alert class itself. So, well, I'm going to paste it in here, and notice that we don't need this class anymore because we already have it, so I can go ahead and delete that. But I am going to keep that if-then statement there, get rid of those quotes and then alert dash message tags. So first off, I'm gonna assume message alert success, um, and then it'll change the tags based off of whatever other one. So we'll see that in action here in just a second. So refresh in here, go ahead and log in. Notice it's green still, that's because the alert itself was successful. So going into our code here, up in this container, well, that container, we see alert success is going to show up twice. All right, cool. But really, the good stuff's going to happen when we log out, and we see three different alerts. Um, alert success comes up for this is an error. So perhaps we want this to be alert warning, or alert danger, actually. And then do a refresh in here. We'll log in. And danger is now showing up. So that's not great, because it's going to default to danger. But if we log out, it also is showing all danger, so it's not actually showing the uh, message tag that we want. So we could even get rid of this completely. And then when we actually use our tags, we would use them that are based off of the alert that we want to display. So if we want it to be successfully logged in and we want it to be a success, we want it to be a green color, then we would use success. If we want it to be a warning, so if we log out, it'd be yellow. And then we could also just leave it off and it would be white. So the white one would just be like there's a bigger error or we could have some sort of default that falls back on it or something like that. But uh, realistically, this actually works okay. So this error would be like some sort of server error possibly where this would be a warning like 
you've tried too many passwords, you know, try again. And this would be an excess, uh, success one that we would actually want to see. All right, so that's that. Um, I'm going to leave these two commented out. I'll leave them on there so you can see them. But realistically, if they log out, it would probably show a success message. Um, if they log in, you might not necessarily show a success message, but you might just show some other kind of message or something like that. But again, we'll leave those things in for now. Uh, we, we probably will change that stuff later. But one thing I do want to also point out is notice when we um, actually refresh, it does change um, or it gets rid of that message. So if I log in, message is there, do a refresh, it goes away. And that's how these messages work. Um, so they're not necessarily persistent. They're not going to stay. They're going to just show you on that request and then they're going to go away. Um, so if you want to see them constantly, like it's going to be a, a little bit different than using Django's messages framework. Uh, but we're not going to get into that because, or not yet at least, we will when the top bar is. We'll do it for that one. Um, but as far as the messages framework with Django, this is how we're going to do it. And there's still one more thing that we might want to actually check out. And that is using um, extra tags. So if we scroll down a little bit, adding extra message tags, we can do this. So let's say, for instance, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and grab this extra tags message here. And I'm going to go into login view. Or actually, let's say the logout view. This probably makes more sense to put it here. And extra tags, I'm going to call it safe. So extra tags being safe, well, we'll see what this means in just a second. But I do also want this feel free to log in again. I want this to be an actual link to bringing them back to logging in. Uh, although we do have it right here as well. But what if we wanted it to go somewhere else? Like let, let's say we want to, when they log out, we want them to go back to the home page, not to a login page. Um, so if we wanted to do that, let's go ahead and copy this reverse here. And we're going to paste that right there. So this reverse, oh, I need another parentheses there at the end of that. So this is going to be a uh, obviously a string substitution here. So let's turn this string into HTML ready text. So I'm going to do a, a href equals, I'm going to using single quotes because we have double quotes on the outside. Please log in again. And then percent s here. All right, cool. So now I've got this HTML stuff and this extra tags here. We'll see what that means in just a second. So let's actually go ahead and log out and see what happens. Refresh, click log out. Notice that it, it is now green and it's not real, or it's white, excuse me. And it's not showing um, the tag actually coming through. So let's see what's going on. We'll go to inspect element here. Uh, oops, put that back down at the bottom. And let's look at this alert. So we have alert dash safe and success. Uh oh. So if we wanted extra tags, well, then we're going to run into an error with this. So let's do a few things here. Let's go back into base. And now what I want to do is if success in message tags, it'll be just alert success. And then if warning, so then an else if else if warning in message tags we'll do alert dash warning okay so you could keep going with that that same concept for the message tags now with that we would want to be down here if safe in message tags, then we would want our message to render HTML. So we do message this slash here, safe. And that's like a long straight up and down slash. Um, and it's right below the delete keyboard in, um, I believe Windows and Mac. And of course Linux, I believe that's where it is, but it's the long one. Okay, so now if message safe, if safe is in message tags, then we'll use the Django template tag of safe. Otherwise, we'll just show the message. So then we'll do else message. So let's go ahead and refresh in here. I'll log in, log out. And now it's showing green again. 
and it also has this link here that's actually appearing. The HTML text went away and it actually is showing um, the HTML being rendered. And the way it's doing that is because of this right here. So this template tag is allowing you to actually render HTML as the context variable or basically just showing the HTML as we wrote out right here. And by adding this extra tag, we are able to call it in here. So putting ifs in this message tags, it allows us to go through them and just kind of see what they are. And you could also say um, warning. So warning should actually show up too. So let's, let's just make sure that warning is working as well um, on that logout. So log in, log out, and warning is still working. And then you could even do the danger ones for error. So let's say for instance, if, or else if, sorry, elif error in message tags, then we would do alert warning, or danger, excuse me, not warning, but danger. Okay, so error is danger. And now we go back into our views. We see that that's, we wanna make sure that error is shown up. Do another refresh in here, log in, log out. And now we have our different colors coming through. And if we wanted, of course, if we wanted to have safe in uh, safe and maybe something else. So let's say, for instance, ABC as another tag. So ABC, of course, representing any other variable that you might want to have in there. So we log in and log out. We can go ahead and go into the expect element. And though that other tag is not necessarily going to show up because we don't have all the tags showing up. Uh, but the the safe tag is working because the link's there, and so is alert sec success. That's also working. Um, so now we've got all this stuff and pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So we've got our contrib working, our message contrib working just fine, and um, we can now display errors that are very dynamic to the user, errors or just any general site message to the user that. Um, work pretty well and we're also able to have some links in there uh, you could also have you know strong so like any html text in here if um, if you put it that extra tag of safe as part of it otherwise you won't see it so if we log out it'll say stuff like that so this could be any html type of stuff now going back into our base um, since we kind of fixed how these tags work a little bit I no longer need to have them as list items, right? So we don't need those little dots there because as it goes through, it's not gonna need it. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now the messages are just gonna be solo by themselves and working in a way that we want them to, to where it doesn't show the little, you know, the little dot for um, the list. And then if we log out, it shows it a little bit better too. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, let's keep going.